Now I know this might not be one of the first electric cars to enter the Indian market. We have had the Mahindra E20 for some time and also the Nissan has recently launched the Leaf. But if you really think about it, the new Hyundai Kona is the car that will really push India towards the electric car future. Nissan has introduced the Leaf at around 40 lakhs. That's entering premium car territory. What about the Kona? An astonishing 25.3 lakh rupees ex showroom is what you have to pay if you want a Kona. And also, you don't have to pay taxes and you get a government grant of not paying taxes for this car because it's all electric. So you're not doing any pollution to the environment. And also, if you compare it to the Leaf, which is almost 20 lakhs more expensive than this car, the performance is not that far off. 134 bhp and the big number 395 newton meters of torque but wait if 134 bhp isn't enough for you hyundai will sell you a 204 bhp variant but that is still not known when it will be launched in india now you might think launching a electric vehicle like the kona in india is a bad decision because it's such a premature market for electric vehicles to that i will say first of all hyundai has balls of electricity and after that someone has to take the initiative and charge the revolution got the pun now the biggest question comes for the kona what if you run out of juice well if you find a 50 kilowatt hour fast charger you can charge the kona to 80% in under 60 minutes this over here is a 7.2 kilowatt hour home charger and this will charge your kona to a full charge in 6 hours and 10 minutes and if you think about it this is basically like a phone and this is the charger come home after a day of long work and charge it in the next morning you have a fully charged car but what if you're in a sticky situation and you have nothing like that around you well hyundai will provide you with a 2 kilowatt hour portable charger which will go into any normal wall socket but it will take 19 hours of charging time obviously the kona will get all the bells and whistles that a modern suv has like you have led headlamps uh, drls led tail lamps roof rails and a decently sized 334 liter boot it also has a really good infotainment system but i'm not going to ponder on that because obviously it's hyundai so obviously they won't mess up a infotainment system The surprising thing about the Kona is that it's not that different from a regular car. It has the premium side of Hyundai's interior and has more in common to the international lineup of Hyundai cars. The steering looks like the 2019 Elantra and the interior trim looks like a Santa Fe. You get ventilated seats as standard and since there is no drive shaft, you get extra storage space under the center console. You get a digital display as your instrument cluster and it has a very cool array of settings and it has an attractive look to it. The back seats are not my favorite because of the sloping roof line, but we can work with it. The weirdest part of the Kona is that it makes no sound at all. Our brains instinctively think that once we are in a car, we will hear the slightest purr of an engine. But the Kona virtually makes no sound. Yes, there is a minute electric whine from the motors, but that is negligible. The suspension and comfort are as good as the Tucson and any other car in Hyundai's lineup. On a full charge, the Hyundai Kona in eco mode will do 452 kilometers. Even if it's an electric car, it won't scare normal customers away because it's so similar to the normal Hyundai lineup, and that's why I think the Hyundai Kona will do good in India. It really doesn't have any competitor because it's the only electric vehicle in its segment. Yeah, MG is gonna. uh unveil the EZS in the near future but that's still at least a year away so if you really think about it the only real pure electric vehicle that that is uh, sold in india is the hyundai kona and what a car so this is kothari hyundai this dealership has been around for over 20 years and it is one of the best hyundai dealerships around pune and you're greeted by an amazing reception in the front of the showroom You go down and you have the Hyundai Venue and the Hyundai Kona in their own respective lounges. You also have a Hyundai Kona configurator down there. You have two customer lounges to chill out for the customers. And basically this is one of the oldest dealerships in the whole country, one of the most uh, trusted dealerships also. So if you want to buy a Hyundai or if you want to get your Hyundai service from them, this showroom is near Kumar Pacific Mall in Pune. 
and you can come down here anytime and they'll be very friendly to you so please check them out once thank you so much for watching this video subscribe tell us what you think about the kona would you buy a kona or would you go for some other car in hyundai's lineup and a big shout out to kothari hyundai for providing us with this beautiful car uh, this is the only dealership in pune which uh, actually it's the only dealership in maharashtra which gives out the hyundai kona so make sure if you want to take a test drive for the kona come down to kothari hyundai near kumar pacific mall in pune